Hello Guardians, welcome back, this is Rightway Gaming bringing you another Destiny 2 video and today it's just a short one for the weekend. You may have been struggling to get Bright Dust or you're not getting much of it, so I'm just going to teach you the best way to get it and well, yeah, so here we go. So, as you uh, may have noticed, the main way to get Bright Dust is through the weekly bounties from Shax, Zavala and the Drifter. A lot of people think that we all weekly bounties give Bright Dust, but they don't. It is only these three that give a significant amount. To be precise, you can have two weekly bounties from those three vendors that will reward you with 200 Bright Dust each. So that's a total of 4 a 1200 Bright Dust per week, per character. So, yeah, it's not a great amount. It's basically 3,600 if you do it on all three characters, which, yeah, is enough to probably get one exotic from store. But if you want to get more than this, there is a way. Now, once you've done all those weekly bounties, which I do recommend doing so because they do reward you with the most, the repeatable daily bounties. Now, I've got to emphasize that it's the repeatable ones, not the standard daily ones that you can pick up, the repeatable ones that you have to buy for Glimmer. These will have a chance of rewarding you with Bright Dust. I don't think it's guaranteed. I just think it's a chance. And they will reward you with roughly 20 Bright Dust per bounty. Now, considering that they're a lot easier than the normal ones, they are worth running, and it's just a case of rinse and repeating and picking them back up. Now, a lot of people may think that you can do this with all repeatable daily bounties, but that is incorrect. For example, the grind that people have been doing for XP with the Eris bounties, you do not get Bright Dust from those repeat repeatable daily bounties. It is only the ones from Zavala, Shax, and the Drifter that will have a chance at rewarding Bright Dust. And it actually states this when you hover over them. So, for example, if you do 10 of these bounties and all 10 reward you with 20 Bright Dust, that's another 200 Bright Dust. And it won't take you that long to complete 10 of those. So, again, if you're on that Bright Dust grind and you want to try and buy stuff from the store over the next three weeks before Season of the Undying ends, this is the best way to do it. Get your weeklies done. And once they're done, start working on these repeatable daily bounties. You can stick with one, you can do Gambit, you can do Crucible, or you can do Strikes. Whichever you find the easiest, I recommend going with. Now, I'd say most people will avoid Crucible, but that's their choice. But Gambit and Strikes are probably just as quick as each other, so those are the two that I recommend running. Oh, well, you've enjoyed this video as always, guys, and if you like and appreciate it, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe. And if you think there's any other way of grinding for Bright Dust, feel free to comment below and let me know, guys. I will see you next time.